thought I'd do a quick video here on um, using Span from Voxingo, which is a free VST plugin, um, to demonstrate how you can see the battle that goes on between the kick and the bass sometimes. Um, see how you can uh, look at the different frequency ranges uh, and how those two can be um, manipulated to give you a tighter low end. So if you want to uh, take a look at what I've been doing, really quick tip here, stay tuned and we'll take a look at this. Okay, so let's take a look at what I've got set up here first of all. So let's remove some of these for now. Empty rack basically. Dropped in a kick, dropped in a bass, and there's some hi hats over to the side. Standard colours that I normally use: red for the kick, blue for the bass, yellow for percussions, things. Um, and what I've done is also I dropped in here a, a span, holding down shift so it wasn't wide into anything. So if we just take a look at the kick, simple Dr. Octo Rex loop just to demonstrate a kick really. Um, I've put on there a Synapse GQ7 uh, equaliser just so that I can show manipulating some of these frequency ranges and how that affects span and the way the kick and the bass play out together. Um, same for the bass really. Synapse GQ7 and then a, a bass sample that's playing there. Uh, the interesting thing is if you hit tab and flick it around, so I've sort of changed the route in here a little bit. So I'm outputting the uh, kick into the uh, GQ7, then the out of that into one and two on the span audio in. And if we scroll down, similar sort of setup, but the output um, of the bass is going into the, the GQ7 on that but then it's coming out and it's going into 3 and 4 into span. Okay. So the reason for that is, is if we flip back the rack and we open up the span plugin, if you open up the routing section within here you can see CD, LR and then you've got EF, uh, G, H, I, J. I think it plays out if you drop these down. Um, basically C and D here is if we go back is one and two here. D and E is three and four. And you, you can see that inside span if you uh, hit the question mark here. And if you hover over the um, group selector here, you can see at the bottom there that it says channel group selector channels in the current group at C and D for left and right. If I change the group to number two, which is the base, and we do the same thing again, you'll see at the bottom the channel group selector is in three and in four, which equates to E and F. Okay, so we're going to switch back to one here. Now, if I, ju if I just play this, you'll see um, by opening up the standard Spectrum EQ in Reason, you can see the kick and the bass mashed together in the frequency ranges here. But if you notice down in the left, you can see two distinct colours showing you the frequency ranges. So red being the kick, as we've coloured it here, and uh, blue being the bass. For those of you who don't know, if you click keep open here, the VST will just stay open while you're navigating around the rack. So you can see red is representing the kick and the blue is representing the bass. Okay. So this is interesting now because we can see exactly uh, how they're interacting together. If you again, if you look at the top, you can you can drill down into the kick here and the bass, but you don't see them together nicely like you do down below. So what I'm going to do is just show you a few things in here where you can take a look at the different ranges and see probably where the kick and the bass are fighting each other for a specific range. Um, if we just spin open the two devices here 
you can see I've put some some EQ on this. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take bypass them, so take them off on both devices. And again, this is this is what it looks like without me manipulating it. So you can see here in this range here, and uh, if you if you're using uh, span, if you hold down Control and click, you can focus in on a particular frequency range, which is really nice. Loads of information, 60 hertz there, like it gives you uh, key, octave, dB, hertz, everything uh, that you might need there. Here you can you can isolate a particular area without holding down click. You can use both mouse buttons on Windows here. I don't know if it's the same for Mac, but you can tighten or widen that particular area. I think holding click and sorry, clicking left mouse and holding Alt, you can adjust that as well. Double clicking on it will remove it. But if we if we take a look at the base here, what I've done is is around 60 hertz here. I've carved out some space here, so you can see where the base, the blue, is firing there. If I turn this on, you should see it tames that slightly, drops down a little bit, and of course I can play around with that and go pretty severe on that cut there. And you can see the kicks firing through there. If you want to isolate this, you can hit solo over in span. And now we're just hearing the kick because we're on group one. I can turn solo off there and hear both together. If I change the grouping to number two and solo, I can just hear the bass. And again, I can do similar sort of things as before, where I can focus right in on particular frequencies. And you can use the controls here to really narrow that down and zoom right in. If you wish. Let's take that off for a second and we'll take solo off and go back. The way you get the two together um, is to use the, the uh, underlay here. So I can turn that off and when I'm on this first group I can just see the kit. But if I select number two, which you remember is the base, you can see two side by side. I could do with the same with the hats here. I could wire those through to span and we probably pop them into um, five and six here and then inside the routine we'd map that to um, G and H in order to get that through and we could have a yellow if we, if we colour it a certain way you can change the colours here and be able to see that coming through at the same time. So again with the, with the kick if we pop that back in I've boosted the kick a little bit here to give it a bit more presence around 60 hertz we all know about rolling off at 30 hertz uh, as well. There's the ability to do that in here. Uh, but of course you could carve that out manually uh, up here using uh, Spectrum EQ, however you, however you want to do that. Um, so that's really just an intro into how you can use Span to uh, better look at the frequency ranges that are happening um, and any sort of instrument really, but. I think it's well demonstrated between the, uh, the kick and the bass there. So if you like the video, please subscribe and uh, I look forward to doing the next one. Down, down, down.